Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on beginner's guide to database using MS SQL Server 2014. In the previous video, I have showed you how to create alter and drop database in MS SQL Server 2014 using query as well as GUI. In this episode, I will show you how to create alter and drop tables in MS SQL Server 2014. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial. Okay guys, first of all, we need to open our MS SQL Server 2014. I have already pinned MS SQL Server Management Studio in my taskbar, so I'll just click on this icon. And it will start. So I will connect my database engine using local. And just type local inside the parenthesis and click on connect. So this is the window list click on new query and we'll have to select the database I have created a sample database in my database for database folder if, uh, if you do not have any databases created in your system then you have to create a database I already made a video on how to create alter and drop database in the previous episode so if you don't know how to create a database then go back and watch my video so i'll just select my sample database use sample database select and execute so my selected database is sample database now to create a table i'll write a query that is create table and table name will be tbl underscore user then we have to give the column name column, column name will be user underscore id and its data type will be integer then full name full name will be varchar and we have to specify the length of the column column name so the length will be 100 and then gender gender will also be a varchar of 10 so the maximum uh, length of barrier is 255 then we'll add another field called is it will be integer so for now we will create these four columns just select this query and execute it so the command is completed successfully so let's see if our table exists or not to check this i will write a query select query select a stick from tbl underscore user so i will execute it so we have successfully created our table uh, and we have four columns that are user id full name gender and age so let's try to uh, all change the table name using the query it uh, I will show you one method that is not most preferable uh, most of the people prefer to delete the table and recreate it so that's the right way to uh, alter the table or change the table name but I will show you how you can uh, change the table name with a single line of code that is sp underscore rename then we need to give the old uh, table name uh, inside the quotes single quotes so our old table name is tbl underscore user then comma then we have to give a new table name it will tbl underscore new user so semicolon then i will just select the query and execute it so this is this shows a warning message but query is successfully executed so we have uh, renamed our table name from tbl users to tbl new user just try to select the tbl user so we do not have tbl invalid object name that means we do not have tbl user table instead we have changed its name to tbl new user so let's check if this table exists or not so 
our table name is successfully changed from TBL user to TBL new user. This so this is the way to change the table name using a single line of code. So let's write a query to delete the table name from a database. To delete the table, you have to write a drop query that is drop drop table and we have to give table name. TBL table name is TBL underscore new user new user so just select the query and execute it so commands complete completed successfully that means we have successfully delete our deleted our table so let's check if the table new user exists or not just select the query and execute it so invalid object that means we have successfully deleted our table from database this is the query to create table this is the query to alter table and this is the query to delete table so we have successfully uh, created and al created altered and drop database using query so now i will show you how you can do the same things that is create alter and drop table using gui to do that you have to go to the database where you want to create a table just i will go to sample database then expand it uh, inside the table folder i will expand the table folder and here i will just right click and new and table so here you have to type the column name that will be user underscore id will be integer integer and allow null or not then full underscore name then it will be bare care and length will be 150 then gender it will also be a where care then where care then 10 then age age will be integer so this is we will talk uh, about constants in another video there are different type of constant like primary key constant foreign key constants not null constant unique key constant etc so i don't want to make this video longer so i will talk about those constants in another video so we have uh, created four columns for our table uh, after creating the column for the table you you will have to just press ctrl and s to save the table and give the table name table name will be tbl underscore user so just press ok so we have successfully created our table go to the tables right click and refresh so it shows uh, our table our created table here if you want to change the table name or rename the table name then you just right click on table and go to rename then type the name you want to change it to that is new user so we have successfully changed our table name from tbl user to tbl new user if you want to delete the table it is easy to do from GUI, just go to the table table and right click and delete so it shows the confirmation box so click on ok to delete so we have successfully deleted our table so guys this is it we have successfully created altered and drop table using uh, query as well as GUI mode so if you had any confusion in this tutorial then don't forget to comment I will reply as soon as possible and if you like this video and would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to like share and subscribe while subscribing don't forget to click on bell icon so you will be get notified when I upload new videos so thank you so much for watching we'll see you soon bye bye